world, it's Becoming Her, and this is a day in my life as a computer science student at Carnegie Mellon University. morning person so I wake up at the last minute possible to get to class. I'm not hungry in the mornings so I make a breakfast to go and eat it in my first lecture. It also helps me stay awake in class. Off to my first class of the day, statistics. It's located in the university center. I currently live in off-campus housing, but for the past few years I lived on an on-campus apartment just down the street, and they're pretty much the same distance from campus, which is about a 15 minute walk to wherever I need to be. Most on-campus dorms are quite a bit closer. I am a senior in CS and this is spring, so this is my last semester and it is the first time I've decided to actually take it easy in these last four years. So today I'm actually going to be walking you through my sophomore spring schedule because I think it's more representative of my time here. Leave a like because I'm going to be awkwardly walking into classes that I already took two years ago. So I'm going to just for you. This is the one piece of art on our campus. It is appropriately named Walking to the Sky. to 2.10 now. 2.10 is Parallel and Sequential Data Structures and Algorithms. As you can tell, that's a pretty long name, so we like to call all CS courses by their three-digit course number. This class is going to be in Doherty Hall, which is not the CS building, but it is one of the only buildings that has larger lecture halls on campus, so a lot of our larger CS beginner slash core courses end up being in that hall. I know this is our fence that anyone can paint after dark. I think it's between like midnight and 6 a.m. or something. It changes all of the time. Right now, it is clearly protesting the war between Russia and Ukraine.
Next up is 213 Lab. 213 is Introduction to Computer Systems. Labs are pretty much like recitations. They're led by TAs. Except for programming courses, labs will have an actual coding component to them. This lab is in the Gates Building. The Gates Building is the CS Building, and even though it's a couple buildings away, we have internal bridges that connect a lot of the buildings on campus, so we won't actually be going outside. We are currently on the second floor of Doherty, and that means that we are going to which floor of Wien? You guessed it, the seventh one. A clear testament to Pittsburgh's hilly landscape, don't worry, you'll get used to it. Doherty is at the top of a hill, and Wien is at the bottom. So the basement of Doherty lines up with the fifth floor of Wien, and the second floor of Doherty lines up with the seventh floor of Wien, and the first floor of Doherty, well, that one's a bit complicated. Just don't worry about it. Unless you're a chemistry major. I'm going to head to 213 Lecture now. Technically, 213 Lecture is not today. Today is a Monday, but 213 Lectures are on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I wanted to show you the only lecture hall in Gates, so here's an extra lecture. We'll be heading to Tepper to grab lunch. Tepper is our new business building. honest, campus food has changed a lot and declined over the last few years, so hopefully it will bounce back soon, but I am getting one of my favorite staples from school. Freshly made sushi. Only freshmen are required to have meal plans. We don't have a central dining hall. There are plenty of different places to eat all sorts of food all around campus, though there are a cluster of food places in the university center. I am heading to psychopathology on the other side of campus. Psychopathology is the study of abnormal psychology. Once upon a time, I thought that I might minor in psychology. I was wrong. Instead, I have a concentration in security and privacy. However, I still really enjoy my psychology courses.
Cafe in the UC to grab a snack before my SCS for all meeting in Gates. The SCS for All meeting is the last thing I have scheduled in the day, so I'm heading to the seventh floor of Gates to do some work in one of my favorite study spots. I think Gates is the best building on campus, and I'm totally not biased. Gates just has so many windows and interesting seats. Anywhere you go is a perfect place to sit down and do your programming. Back in sophomore year, when I was actually taking these core classes with my friends, I would meet up with them and we would work on the homework together. But now, we all have different classes. Thus, I am watching a recording of lecture alone. Not going to lie, freshman and sophomore year was incredibly busy and stressful, but don't worry, we all suffered together. You are free to work with friends and even expected to work in groups for some classes. The whole environment is super collaborative, the professors care about the students, and that makes the hard material much more doable. We are also one of the only universities that use undergraduate TAs in our computer science department, so your TAs actually know exactly the pain that you go through and they're super, super helpful, as opposed to grad students who just have to TA the course. I'm going to head back to my apartment and make use of the kitchen for dinner. Sizzly. Don't worry, I didn't eat a whole half rack by myself. After dinner, I get back to work at my desk. In my experience, the core CS courses each consist of 15 to 20 hours of work per week, while the other courses take 5 to 7 hours-ish. Every semester, I usually take two CS courses and two to three other courses, so there is a lot of work to be done. How many hours of work per week each class is depends on the person. If you're really good, you take six classes a semester instead of four or five. I think I'm pretty average, I usually get B's in my core CS courses. I'm taking a break from work and I'm going to grab ice cream with my friend at Tupper from Millie's, which is a ice cream chain in the Pittsburgh area and they have really good ice cream. Usually I do work until around 10 to 11, and then I'll relax, play league, watch TV, do something until it's about 1 or 2, and that's when I actually have to bed. However, I do have friends who do all of their work while I'm asleep, and they do really well, even though I don't really recommend that to each their own. I hope you had fun watching me go about my day today and follow my schedule, well, my sophomore schedule, and you should subscribe if you are a incoming CS major because I upload all sorts of CS advice on my channel, like getting through the major, getting an internship, all of that stuff, and some also creative things will be coming your way soon. So that's Becoming Her. I currently live on I am on my way to psychopathology class. I am I am on my way to psychopathology class. I am on my way to psychopathology. I am 
heading to. I am heading to. Uh, because I think it's more representative of my time here. <laughs> and 